Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm going to start going over the Statistics S1 June 2023 International A Level at Excel exam. And I'm going to go through each question in a separate video, and I'm going to save that video in, play in a playlist which is related to this particular paper and another playlist related to the actual topic that the question is from. I'm going to go over the question sometimes in a bit of detail in order to make sure everyone understands properly how to answer the questions and some of the concepts behind them. So let's make a start straight away with question number one. Here we have a histogram which shows the distances in kilometers that 274 people travel to work. So this histogram here contains the information altogether of 274 people and how long it takes them to travel to work. Now we can notice here that we've got a frequency density scale um, or axis but without a scale there. No numbers on it. And here we have the distances on the x-axis. Now what we know is that in total there's 274 people represented in this histogram. Okay. And they've told us that 60 of these people travel between 10 and 20 kilometers to work. Okay. So that means in this region here, Okay, there's 60 people being represented. Okay, 60 people. And we've got to, first of all, find using this information or estimate the number of people who travel between 22 and 45 kilometers to work. So first of all, why does it say estimate and not calculate? All right, because a histogram is something where we um, do not have the actual information. It's like a frequency table. It's like, a, it's like the you know, the uh, graphical representation of a frequency table, which is grouped. So we know that there's 60 people who traveled between these distances, but we don't know the exact uh, distances that they traveled. And we don't know the distribution of those 60 people in this region. So if we're going to estimate how many people traveled between 22, which is here 22 kilometers, and 45 kilometers, which is 40, 50 right here, Okay, then I don't know exactly how the number of people in this bar is distributed. Okay, so I can't I can't be sure uh, how many people are in each of these, uh, you know, these regions here. So between thirty and fifty, I can work out how many people were between thirty and um, and sixty people. Uh, thirty and sixty, I can work out how much altogether are in these this whole bar. All right, but I can't work, I, and I know that for sure, okay, that the number of people in that whole bar, but I don't know how they're distributed amongst here because it's group data. So there could be more on this side, more on that side. We don't know. So that's why it's estimate. We just estimate that they're evenly distributed in each of these groups. That's what we have to, that's why it says estimate. That's, that's one little point that's important. Um, so now we've got to use the fact that in this, area here we can say that if we want to do it in um uh we can we can think about this as like these big squares you have like one two three four five six so you have six big squares which represent 60 people so let me put let me put the working here so six squares are representing 60 people which means one square represents 10 people okay that makes it easy for us so if we can work out how many of these big squares there are between 22 and uh, 45, then we'll be able to work out, uh, you know, how many people there are in that area. Because if we can work out the number of squares, we multiply that by 10, the number of big squares. So here we've got one big square. Okay, and here we've got, if we think about it here, this is like um, this big square here is cut into these five equal pieces. Okay, so you've got three of them here, so that's going to be 0 0.6. So that's 1 plus 0 0.6, that's 1.6 squares. And here we have, um, this is like 0.4. Okay, you have 0.4 here, and another 0.4, and another 0.4. Okay, so that's going to be 1.2 squares. All right, so we have 1.6 plus 1.2, so we have 1.6 plus 1.2. Um, yeah, that's 1.6 altogether, plus 1.2. That's 2.8 squares. So therefore, we can say that 2.8 squares is equal to 2.8 times 10, which is 28 people.
Okay, that's a very easy way of, uh, you know, calculating using some proportion. We know how much each one square represents, work out how many of those big squares are all together in this region, and we can work that out. We can also have done that by using frequency density. So I could have worked out what the frequency density scale is by using the fact there's 60 people. Okay, so the frequency density we know is equal to the frequency over the interval. So 60 is a frequency in this bar. The interval is 10. So it's going to be 60 over 10. So that's 6. Okay, so that's 6 on the frequency density scale. That means this must be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. So then we can work out in this region here, you have from 22 to 8, which is 8 times the height of the bar, which is 2. So we can say 8 times 2 is 16. So when we know there's 16 people in this bar, and here we have 15, because from 30 to 45 is 15 times. This, what is this? This is, if you look at the scale here, that's 2. That means... Um, each of these must be 0 0.4, right? Because you're going to have, there's 1, that's 0 0.4, 0 0.8, 1 1.2, 1 1.6, and 2. So each of these is 0 0.4. So that's going to be 2 squares, that's going to be 0 0.6. So we're going to have 15 times 0. Point, uh, sorry, 0 0.8. If each of these is 0 0.4, that's 0 0.8. 15 times 0 0.8. Okay, so we're going to have... That's going to be what? 8 times, um, we've got 10 times 8, it's like 15 times 8, right? Um, and then that's going to be 80 plus 40, that's 120. So that's going to be 12. So you've got 16 plus 12 is, again, 28 people. So we can work it out using the frequency density scale, which I think is more complicated. Or we can just say, okay, there are 6 squares represented, uh, representing 60 people, 1 square is 10 people, Work out how many of these big squares there are in this region that we're looking for between 22 and 45 and multiply by that number 10 and you got your answer. Okay, so that's part A. Now part B says find the median distance traveled to work by these 274 people. So we've got to find the median, which is Q2. Now the position of Q2 is given by the number of entries divided by 2. Okay, so we've got 274 divided by 2. So... That gives you 137th, the 137th entry. So remember, the median of a set of data is the number or the entry which is exactly halfway along the data when it's ordered, when it's arranged in order of size. So um, if we have 274 entries divided by two, that gives us 137. Okay, so the 137th entry is what we're looking for. Now, normally, when we're finding the median, we have an even number of entries. There's going to be two terms in the median position. So we would say the 137th and the 138th entry. Okay, we'll take that position and the position after it. However, because we have grouped data here and, you know, we're basically estimating, we don't do that. Only if we know the, the exact value of every entry, that's when we use that you know, 137th and 138th entry. But here we have group data, so we don't use that. So we're looking for the 137th entry. So I've got to work out where the 137th entry is. So we have all these groups. We have groups from 0 to 5, and 5 to 10, and 10 to 20. And then the next group is from 20 to 30. Sorry, we have 0 to 5, and 5 to 10, then 10 to 20, then 20 to 30, then 30, all the way to 60. That's one whole group at the end, I think, because... There's nothing there. That's right. So you've got the group from 0 to 10, which I'm uh, 0 to 5, okay, which has got, um, if we can see here, that 6. In fact, we can just count the squares. That's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So there's 100 people in this group, in this first group. And then you've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 in this second group. And then, as we said, we got 60 in this group from 10 to 20. And then I'll just get rid of some of this now so I've got more space to, to work with. Okay, and then in this group between... I don't need this now either because we, we, we don't need to have it all split up. So I'm just going to get rid of all of this working from before so that it's clearer. Okay, so I'll get rid of all of this stuff. Okay, so now that's 60. Now here we have two uh, squares, that's 20. And here we've got... If you think about that's uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's that's going to be um, that's going to be here. 
let's see one second that's two four so each of these is, is worth each of these whole ones is worth 10 so that's going to be four so we have four 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 and four that's going to be one two three four five six fours are 24 okay so there's 24 people in this last group here okay because as you can see that's four eight and then that would be 10 right so yeah so there's uh, 24 people in this last group so now we're going to work out where is the 137th entry okay so of course the 137th entry must be somewhere in this group here okay because that's 100 and that's 70 so 100 people in the first group 70 people in the second group so the 137th entry must be in the group 5 to 10 so it's in the group from 5 to 10 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a little kind of diagram which shows the beginning of the group and the end of the group now we know that in the first group there are 100 so you know by the time you got to the second group here you've already written down 100 entries by the end of the second group you've got to the 170th entry we're looking for the 137th entry which is the median entry okay so here we're going to do what's called linear interpolation now of course um you know there are there would be no gaps in these in these values because you use inequalities to show them so you can just now do the following say q2 the median is equal to it's going to be somewhere between 5 and 10 so it's going to be 5 plus this little distance here okay so it's be 5 plus now how do i work out that distance there well i use proportion so i can say the fraction that this is of the whole thing there is equal to the same fraction that this is of the whole thing here de talking about the the entries so this is the values on top this is the entries underneath so i can say 137 minus 100 over the total which is 70 between there and there that fraction of this distance is what we need it's that fraction the same fraction okay that this is of that okay will be that that same fraction so you got this distance here okay which is um you know divided by that is going to give us that same fraction so what we're going to do is we're going to just multiply this by five so whatever fraction this is okay is this this is the same fraction that this is of that and that fraction of this distance between five and ten is what we're looking for so if we just stick that in our calculator if we do five plus and then we have 137 over uh, minus 100 which is 37 over th over th uh, 70 which is the width of the group times five that will give us what we're looking for which is 7.6428 7.6428 which we should round to three significant figures unless otherwise stated so 7.64 kilometers that's the median distance okay so that's how you find the median by using linear interpolation Okay, so the next thing we have to do is we have to find the mean distance traveled. Now, we can use, uh, to find the mean distance traveled, in fact, we're going to estimate again. Is it, all of these are estimates. This is an estimate because we don't know the actual distances. The same thing for the mean. We're estimating the mean distance because we don't know the actual value, so we have to estimate. So what do we do? We say, okay, there's 100 people who traveled between 0 and 5 kilometers. We don't know how much each of those people traveled, so we just... To estimate, we take what's called the mid-interval value. So, okay, let's say that those people traveled exactly halfway of that, which is 2.5. And these 70 people that are contained in the second group traveled exactly halfway between 5 and 10, which is 7.5. And these 60 people traveled exactly between halfway between 10 and, and 20, which is 15. And these 20 people that are contained in this group traveled exactly between 20 and 30, which is 25. And the people in this last group that traveled between 30 and 60 kilometers, okay, let's say they traveled exactly halfway between them, which is 45, that 24 people. So now what we do is say, okay, 100 times 2.5. So I'll just write that down here. I've got space here. So I've got the mean distance, which we're going to call X, is going to be 100 times 2.5 plus uh, 70 times 7.5 plus for this third group is 60 times 15 plus for the fourth group is 20 times 25 and for the last group is going to be 24 times 45 24 times 45 
okay, that will give you the to an estimate of the total distance traveled altogether by all those 274 people. And therefore, to find the mean, we have to divide by those number of people, which is 274. And that should give us our answer. And we have to be very careful when we are putting this now calculator that we don't make any uh, silly mistakes. So I'm going to put this over here. Um, so you have your fraction bar 100 times 2.5. Okay, let me just put this a bit lower so I can see. Plus, and you got 70 times 7.5. Plus, then we have 60 times 15. Plus 20 times 25. And plus 24 times 45, all over 274. And that gives us our answer, which is 11.87956. So 11.87956, 11 11.87956 continues. So therefore, we can say the mean is going to be given by 11.9 kilometers. Again, they didn't mention how to round it, so we should round to 3SF. And that concludes this question on histograms. Question number one, quite an easy question to start off with. Um, not too bad. Okay, so we have to learn how to do linear interpolation, estimate the mean, and how to understand what a histogram is. I hope that was clear. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist, the link for which will appear in the top right of the screen at the end of the video. On the bottom right of the screen, you'll find the playlist which deals with histograms in P1, uh, sorry, S1 of an Excel. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link over here. You can also watch a video that should, the link should appear at the top here, which shows you how to use my channel efficiently for what you're looking for. Thank you for watching and see you soon.